Today, I gotta go on a rant. Before I jump into it, let me give a shout out to this video sponsor, ThatSpiderManBooth.com. They have the $35 mystery boxes where you're guaranteed five comics of retail value, but the one lucky box, the GP, the giveaway prize, will be this Invincible One Omni-Man variant by Tyler Kirkham. This round ends on January 19th, so make sure to pick up a box. Use code GEMMINT to save 10% not only on that box, but anytime you shop there, just like their sister site, Street Level Hero. That's SLHLA.com, who has exclusive variants with new drops every Tuesday and Thursday. Their latest release is this She-Hulk 1 exclusive variant, just in time for the show to come out soon. You can save 10% on that cover or any cover, any item on the store, anytime you shop there by using code GEMMINT at checkout. What's going on everybody? GEMMINT here and that's right, I have to go on this Arcade 1UP rant. I want to preface this video by saying I love Arcade 1UP. I think what they've done for the retro community has been amazing. Bringing these calves to our home, I would never have owned the regular size arcade just because of the weight, the price, having to know how to maintenance and refurbish it. I was never interested in that. The arcade one-ups made it a reality to have a home arcade and bringing amazing titles, my favorite titles, Mortal Kombat, Street Fighter, TMNT, uh, NBA Jam, and more. But I gotta go on a rant about the release of the Killer Instinct with the regular version and the Pro line. Now, the reason why I really want to go in is because this isn't the first time. This happened with the Marvel Super Heroes cab. They had a regular version and they had a deluxe version right through Arcade 1UP. Now, this might affect me more or bother me more as a content creator because I like to review these products and these things, these collectibles, uh, as early as possible. If not first, I mean, that would be ideal, but, you know, in a timely manner. So it affects me there, and then it affects me more as one of those types of fans and collectors that want it right away and don't want to wait for the next version while everyone's playing with the initial one, which is what happened with the Marvel Superheroes. I ordered their upgraded deluxe version that had Sanwa buttons and sticks. It had a different yellow trim. I think it had a different or it had a unique uh, riser to it. And I pre-ordered that from Arcade 1UP day one. Around the time of release, Collectors who ordered through other sites or just went in person to Walmart were picking up the regular edition Marvel superheroes before the people who pre-ordered months and months in advance. So that was kind of like one of those things that rubbed me the wrong way because now I'm in a dilemma. Do I go buy this from Walmart even though I have this deluxe version on pre-order? Am I gonna be stuck with them both? Do I cancel the pre-order, go in person and get the one right now so I can review it and play it? So that was the first time. And now we have this Killer Instinct. I'm amazed that they made Killer Instinct. It's always one of those kind of 3D 90s fighters that's like, can they emulate it right? Uh, they actually did it. Not only just Killer Instinct, but Killer Instinct 2 as well. The cab looks great. I pre-ordered it from Target on day one. I don't know, Target has been good for me. And, and I was happy, but then Arcade went up, announces the Killer Instinct Pro line. 20 inch screen over the 17 inch. Hap buttons and sticks inst instead of the imitation ones uh, a taller big blue type of arcade cabinet no riser even needed two hundred dollars more yo i'm in but here's the problem the target pre-order is supposed to ship it shipped already yeah, mid-january and I'm, I'm actually gonna get it in hand tomorrow but the pro line version doesn't come out for some months i don't even know when it comes out so my dilemma as a content creator is like all right well i guess i gotta get the first one to review it then get the pro line then do a comparison that's all well and good but uh i just wish they would have came out together and, or given you the choice because who wants to cancel this pre-order not have killer instinct in their house playing it online with everybody waiting months and months and months to get it while you're seeing everybody enjoying that first version so that's kind of my whole dilemma with these deluxe editions i'm down for them i just feel like they need to be released at the same time that the regular version gets released so that these people that really want to pay more money for your products aren't waiting the longest. Shoot, you should actually even consider putting the deluxe stuff first. If these people are willing to pay a premium, let's get their product out first, and then everybody who wants to get the uh, the less expensive version, they could wait a little bit. So that's my little arcade one-up rant. I still love them. I'll still buy all their products as long as it's a game that I'm into. Uh, I'm not buying baby cades, and I'm not into like the old school like Galaga and stuff like that, but. The 90s nostalgia stuff, if you guys do Blitz, I'm all in. I'm definitely getting the Mortal Kombat Pro line. And good thing I already have a Mortal Kombat cab, so I won't feel that waiting for months and feeling left out. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I tripping? Is this like first world problems, get over it? Or do I have a point here? Thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh.
Peace.